Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about RunCam's new ground station app, RunCam Fly. It's now my go-to app when I fly FPV fixed wing. The most exciting thing is that it has a built-in open IPC viewport, so you can switch between the map and camera view within the app. But for now, the open IPC camera view only works on Android devices. I also downloaded the Mac, Windows, and iOS versions, and none of those support open IPC. Now, let's get into the app itself. First of all, I love this UI design. The icons are the simplest and most readable among all the ground stations I've used. Here, you can scroll through the top telemetry data to see the rest. You can also click on the icons to switch between options, like here, where you can switch between ground speed and airspeed. And here, you can choose how many battery cells you're using. It'll show them all if you're using a larger screen like an iPad or laptop. It also has a 3D altitude ball like other apps. These two icons let you switch between street view and satellite view, and also let you locate yourself. Let's check out what settings it has. Look at this UI. It's simple and includes all the features I need. I used to mainly use Q ground control, but here, almost all the buttons are the ones I actually use. Compared to QGC, which I find a bit overwhelming, especially for beginners, RunCam Fly is much more intuitive and user-friendly. For the connection settings, we have Bluetooth serial connection, which you can use to connect to your OpenIPC video link, TCP and UDP, which you can use to get YELRS telemetry via the YELRS backpack. For the map source, you've got three options. And here, you can also change the interface settings, the status bar style, either horizontal at the top or vertical on the side, and you can change the theme color and other stuff. You can also set up voice alerts and define the values that will trigger them. One thing it could improve is the distance and speed units. It currently only shows metric. For the flight data, it starts recording right after it receives the telemetry signal, and it saves automatically. I didn't see an option to export the flight data or to retrieve it from the app data on my Android. It would be great to have an option to export it in a format that works with UAV Log Viewer. On the right side, if you move the map, it'll show up. There's a bug though, when you first open the flight data, the map shows a gray screen. I'm just going to leave it like this because I don't want to reveal my location. On the left side, you'll see the parameters. Since I only use it to view telemetry and record flight history for iNav, and not to configure the flight controller or change parameters, I haven't tried the other settings like FC calibration, mission planning, parameters, or FC settings. You can explore them if you need them, as it supports our pilot. For OpenIPC, once you connect your network card, you'll get access to select channels and frequency. You'll need to switch the channel manually. For me, using the RunCam Wi-Fi Link 2, the channel is 161, but the app doesn't default to that. Just like the 3D altitude ball, you can move the viewport freely on the screen, but you can't manually resize it. You can only maximize it. Now, let's talk about my setup and connection. I've included a diagram I drew here. I assume you'll be using Wi-Fi, UDP, to connect your ELRS transmitter for telemetry and using serial connection for OpenIPC. I made a video before on how to set up the ELRS backpack. Go check it out if you haven't and want to set it up. That video is linked in the top right corner, or you can find the link in the description after watching this one. So here's the full process. First, plug in your network card. The serial connection should set up automatically. Then go to connection settings and under UDP, Enter 10.0.0.1. The default port is 14550. Then hit connect, and it should work without any problems. And that's it for this video. I'll leave you from here to explore the app. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give it a like. I'll see you in the next one.